Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple techniques that you can do at home to help loosen your stiff neck in seconds. So when we were thinking about our neck, everything we do is in front of us. So we're either looking down like this or in front of us. So really oftentimes the front of our neck is really tight because we're looking down and the back of the neck is really overly stretched, like an overly stretched rubber band. So even overly stretched muscles can cause tightness, uh, referred pain and tension. But uh, to really solve it, what we need to do is stretch the front of the neck. So I'll, first off, I'll show you how to do that. So to stretch the front of your neck, what you can do is start uh, by taking your hands and placing, it, placing them under your collarbone. So the front of our neck, actually the muscles run along here, they actually attach under the collarbone. So what we do here by placing your hands under the collarbone, we're pinning down the, the attachments to your neck muscles. So you can pin down the muscles like this, I'm using my fingers, I'm applying some good firm pressure here, and then from here you can drop your head all the way back. All right, even just doing that, you're gonna feel the tightness even in the skin there. So what we're doing is pinning the muscle down, drawing it back and stretching out. It's called a pin and stretch. To take it to the next level from there, while your head's in neutral, pin, pin the muscle down, drop your head back, and then open and close your mouth a couple times. That's gonna then mobilize the neck muscle as you're stretching it. Another great way that you can help loosen your stiff neck in seconds is doing a little bit of a combination of stretching and massage at the same time. So when we're thinking about our neck in general, oftentimes when we're uh, really stressed and doing a lot, our upper trapezius or our traps get kind of tight. And so when our traps are tight, they kind of tend to elevate towards our ears. So to stretch our traps, we needed to press our shoulders. Here's how you can do it really good. Take your hand, one hand on the affected side and you can sit on that hand. It really anchors that shoulder down, all right? Then you can sit up in good posture and tilt your head to the opposite direction, all right? So as the shoulder is anchored down and you bring your head over, it's lengthening the side of the neck and the upper trapezius feels really nice. You can hold that up to 10 seconds, do it at least three times, for, feels really nice. To take it to the next level, as you're stretching here, you can also add in a self-massage technique. So you take the opposite hand, some good firm fingers like this, apply some pressure on the upper trapezius just like this. So as you're applying pressure, then you can go into your stretch here, and that feels really nice. The importance of the massage is that it helps compress the muscle a little bit more. It brings in more circulation and blood flow. Uh, in combination with the stretching really helps release and relax the muscle.